How's it going YouTube? Cody Bernardi here with another YouTube video. In today's video, I'm going to be going over my penetration testing recon methodology or bug bounty methodology for reconnaissance. Now, I want to make something known because I didn't know until recently why you never see like Nahamsek or Stoke. Stoke Frederick, I think that's how you say it. Why you never see live streams of exploitation and what they do post-exploitation is because if you're live streaming something and they come across a, like a P1 sort of bug, uh, it doesn't do, it, it kind of defeats the purpose of a responsible disclosure because if they're live streaming and someone sees, you know, oh, they just did like an information disclosure of, you know, company data and it's a bunch of PII. So that's why you don't see live streams of exploitation. I actually did a stream as a private stream because I knew I might have come across something that was probably a little not good. And that's exactly what happened. I was live streaming to a private stream uh, of my like complete methodology. Like you can kind of, I, I, I speak my thoughts out loud so you can hear what I do, what my process is like. So I'm going to download that video off YouTube. It's a private video right now and cut out the portions that should not be on YouTube because I haven't even disclosed uh, the, the vulnerabilities yet. So with that, I'm going to be going over just some basic things very fast of what my methodology looks like. So uh, the first thing is knowing what your scope is. So a scope basically is what you can and can't do. It's a set of rules. Uh, there's white, uh, white box, gray box, and black box, white box, uh, pen testing. I'm going to say pen testing, but it's synonymous with bug bounty in this video. White box pen testing is we want you to specifically target these endpoints. Gray box is don't target these endpoints. And then black box is have at it. What you find and what you do is what you do. Don't purposely try to break shit sort of thing. So know what your scope is. And if you go outside of that scope, it's called scope creep. Uh, the first tool I use for content discovery is Hurricane Electric. So Hurricane Electric has just a giant database of BGP and their uh, autonomous system numbers as well as CIDR ranges. So Comcast right here, they're obviously gonna have a ton of data. This is content discovery right here, passive content discovery. So what you can do, copy this entire page, pasted it into Linux, and then just cut it down using the cut command. Uh, again, I have a full stream of like everything. I'm just gonna redact some things and I will put it in the show notes below. So if you're watching this and the video link isn't quite there yet, just give it some time. I have to download the video and do all that, but I copy and paste everything into Linux. The next thing that I do after that is I take those CIDR ranges and I put them into a TXT file and then I import that list into mass scan and I mass scan pretty much everything. So when I do bug bounties, at least I want to find those obscure random ports. I don't care about 2020 or 22, uh, things like just random ports. Like I always find those pretty interesting to poke at. And the next thing I do is I import, so 2.5 million endpoints for Comcast cable on Shodan. Uh, and you can see most of them are gonna be modem, web interface, HTTP, HTTPS. So what you can actually do is just subtract out ports. So instead of org, uh, so let's say we're doing ports. So I'll show you right here. So if I don't wanna look at, you know, port 80, I'll do minus port 80 and minus port you know, 443 and so on like that. And you can filter out results. So showdown. Next up is lazy recon. So this one's pretty nice. It's by Nhamsek. Uh, it's basically just a bash script and you just do tac D for domain and you just let it run and it does its thing. It's, it's a little slow, but it does a very good job uh, at what it does. And you can also do an exclude. So if you want to exclude those, you know, if you're doing a gray box. Next up is photon. This one's is this one's pretty sweet. So this one uh, finds fuzzball URLs, potential internal, internally directed resources. So Photon's pretty awesome. I use that a lot. Uh, next up is DNS dumpster. So this you can use to find a subdomain. So like lazy recon will do that for you, but DNS dumpster, dumpster is pretty quick. So while that's running in the background, you can use DNS dumpster and get results like that uh, and start poking at those. And then Nmap, so this one's pretty obvious. Uh, Nmap basically take those results from like a mass scan, filter them down. So I'll, so from mass scan, I'll get my, you know, my output file, and I'll take the HTTP like port 80 um, ports like results, 
put that to its own file, port 443, HTTPS into its own file, RDP into its own file, DNC into its own file. So I just basically grep out those ports and you can see in the, the video, uh, filter those out, put them into their own, their own files and then I'll just scan those individually. So like if I wanna scan all the port 80s, I'll throw that into Nmap and do like uh, banner grabbing, run some NSE scripts against those you know IPs with those ports. I take those results, so if anything shows up on like NSE, then I'll go into Metasploit. Metasploit is where I start the exploitation of things. Now if I find something on a website, so if I'm like you know visiting a website, another tool I use is called Wappalizer. I don't even bother talking about that. Uh, it tells you like the JavaScript libraries and like different kind of technologies a website's using and also the version. Now CVE details will tell you if there's any CVEs for, you know, that version. CVEs are just basically a vulnerability ID for, you know, a product and a version. So earlier today <clears throat> or on the live stream that I was doing, I found a default Apache Tomcat interface and it had a CVSS 9.3 with a Metasploit module for remote code execution. And then the last one is web screenshot. Now web screenshot I will use when I, you know, do the mass scan, I'll put, you know, the port 443 into its own file and port 80 into its own file. Web screenshot will actually just take an imported list and just run through uh, and take a screenshot of those websites. Now you can easily go through but basically like, oh, it's running IIS. So oh, it's running, you know, whatever, forbidden. You know, I, it just takes screenshots of web pages. Most of the time it's gonna be the landing page for the, the business, but that is pretty much it. So that's kind of my recon methodology. I know that there's a lot to it, but that's kind of the order I go. So, and, and another tip I recommend is running all of this uh, in like a cloud environment, not at home, because if you're doing like mass scan, you're gonna be clogging up a lot of network bandwidth. Um, and if you're doing any testing, uh, especially bug bounties, uh, and you know, like that business decides to complain to your ISP for abuse, uh, Comcast, at least, their terms of service is pretty cut and dry. They will just knock you off as a customer. Uh, the only way you could do security testing is if you have explicit permission so like a contract so but yeah with that everything that i talk about in this video will be in the show notes below uh if you want to get more into bug bounties uh i would highly recommend following the homsec at stoke and then there's a few people on twitter i'll put all their uh, stuff down below in the description I'm, I'm not huge in bug bounties but i you know this is kind of what my methodology is so there might be better ways to do these things but it's just what i do and it works for me so and then I also didn't talk about credential scraping, which I actually have a GitHub repo for cred scraping using Trufflehog, but that one kind of sucks. So anyways, that's it for this video. If you enjoy content like this, feel free to give this video a thumbs up. And if you can, share this with at least 800,000 of your friends. Uh, subscribe. And uh, you all have a fine and dandy day. Thank you.